All right, I'm up in, I don't know, Northern California somewhere. Don't want to give away any places. But, uh, it's nice up here. Everything's green. It's green everywhere. A lot of rain. A lot of rain up towards the, like, the mountains area. But I'm going, I've been pretty much straight up the, you know, the 99. 599 that kind of stuff I'm, I don't know where I'm going now up a mountain up another mountain uh, I haven't even got to where I'm supposed to go yet and it's like six no it's five o'clock 530 <laughs> I'm not gonna get on to like four four or five in the morning that's all right, because I stay awake all night anyway. This is pretty, huh? Pretty, pretty, pretty. See, I like living out and stuff like this. Screw the city. When I was a city boy, I had the city boy blues. And I wanted to remember that song? That was the only good song on friggin' Theater of Pain. I think it was a, like a mistake. Cause that was like so like unmotley crew city boy blues really that's cool but then it took a really bad turn after that i, I didn't like that album. anyways this is pretty typical uh you know california central california schnot but it's nice i like travel so this is just, this is a travel video. This is a short, this is like a two day trip probably. That guy's peeing. <laughs> That's always nice to see. Now you know you're in Northern California when you see a guy just, you know, squirting off the side. California, land of loonies. I was born and raised here. I can say anything I want. If I lose people, gee. Not talking again. I'm talking about like when I grew up in the 70s and the 80s. I loved California, and it wasn't as crowded. Now there's literally over 20 million people just in LA alone. There's over three million in the Valley, San Fernando Valley, the Valley. So that's pretty. See that little thing of grass right there? That's a, something from the old road. An old road. Because this is, what did I say this was? The five. There you go. But anyways, just California today I don't like. And they're ruining such, one of the most beautiful states that has everything. Ocean, mountains, desert, any type of terrain, any type of thing you want. It's in California, but they're just screwing it all up. Because they just, they're not thinking. I, you know, I get it. A lot of people do stupid things and, uh, in the past, you know. People didn't know what they were doing with oil, and they'd strike oil and they'd let it just flood out over miles and try to pool it up and you know but they say and it's damaged forever yeah really that happened in the early 1900s if you go there now you wouldn't even know it there's not oil still all over or tar or anything there's a little bit of tar but there's grass and trees and stuff growing you know it didn't kill everything well it was a part of the earth CO2 emissions, that's ridiculous. People have been omitting CO2 from their anus for as long as they've been here. Cows, even worse. And we're still here! We can't kill the earth. So stop it. Why am I getting on a rampage? I don't know. Let's just look at the beauty of nature. Hopefully I'll run into a couple more storms. I, I hit a few really good thunderstorms today so there you go
Well, I don't want to just start yammering because then people listen and they're like, yeah, right on, or screw yeah, you. Yeah. Last time I started saying stuff, and it wasn't political. I don't talk political. I'm apolitical, especially on the internet. <laughs> it's just because, you, you know, you don't need to. Just talk about good things, fun things. Like, I got pretty that mountain is right there. I like it because you can see all the... Uh, striations of the mountain and the millions and millions of years. So anyways, I love that stuff. I love going looking for gold. I like doing all that stuff. Gold and silver mining. Love it. Hopefully I'll be doing that soon again. Uh, there you go. I'm coming into something. That's That looks pretty hairy up there. Good. So I'm going to let it go for now, just so I don't get caught by a cop filming, because this is just as bad, I guess, as talking on the phone, even though I'm just talking to a camera. Alright, uh, I'm going to go to my cousin's house. I should hit there within about two hours, I guess. Um, I'm giving him a guitar. I'm giving it to him. So if anything happens to him, I will get it back. And he's got a bass, that's his, but it's a Thunderbird, white Thunderbird, so we're going to try to play a little Molly Crew. He hasn't played an instrument in probably 30 years. And I know when you listen to me, it sounds like I haven't played an instrument in 30 years, too. But anyways, we'll try to do like, you know, looks to kill or something easy. Just not the whole thing, even though... I could have him ride A, and then there's one part, bong, bong, where you'd have to not ride A. And that's exactly what Nicky used to do, even though he was getting better in 82. All of 81, it was Mick teaching him how to play, and rehearsing, and rehearsing, and rehearsing. A whole year. It doesn't take that long to learn basic bass. Too Fast for Love, Mick played the bass. Whether you want to hear that or not. Because not that far, you know, in 1979, when he auditioned for Quiet Riot, he didn't even know how to tune the thing. And Randy called him over to Nikki, over to his house, up by my house, or my parents' house. I don't live there. And Randy had to tune the bass for him and then play him the bass parts, which is a big mistake because that's what he did with Kelly Garney and Kelly ended up following Randy on the bass, which you're not supposed to do. But he knew that this was a losing thing. He just looked cool. And Lizzie Gray took a chance with him like I did with my friend Tony. The guy looks too cool to let go, so we'll just play around him. Just muddy the tone up. So he's not so, you know, you just hear a rumble and let him ride in the string. And then as he got better, you know, he did get better. Within two years, he was not bad. Even though when they went in to record Shot at the Devil, the producer is saying this is the worst bass player I've ever heard. That's a fact. That's on tape. And I remember going down there when they were recording and hearing you know, them complaining about the bass. So Mick would go and he'd touch up the bass and Nicky would not know or care. So there you go. There's your Molly for today. With no guitar. Just the one I'm giving him, which is in the back. I don't know if you can see it. You got a lot of junk back there. Like my whole computer, my whole studio set up back there. I'll be putting that together and everything next week. Alright, signing out somewhere in California. Bye!